Um, really proud of our, our team. Uh, that, that was a big win. Uh, they're really good. And, you know, every year is so different. And I know that we were regular season champions last year, but we always talk like this team, we haven't won anything yet. So there is a process of each team learning how to handle pressure, learning how to win tight games. You know, uh, I think they had a seven game win streak coming in, they were 4-0. So, so this was big for us. And, and we knew that we wanted to prove to ourselves that hey, we can do this. Because, you know, I know last weekend we didn't play very well, but now we're not talking about last weekend ever again after this, okay? But this is, we just needed this. We needed a good win, a win against a great team, and, and we got it. And what I loved, and I said this, every night it looks a little different. These two were unbelievable, unbelievable. But we had a lot of different people step up also and, and make some key contributions, which, which was awesome. Coach, yeah. I It was huge because I don't, I'm not being funny. Did you, did you score on? Nope. No. No. But impacted the game, had five blocks in the, in the first half, 10 rebounds. But that's the thing about Kate. It's never about scoring the ball. She's a very capable scorer. And I mean, and she did it in a lot of different ways. Posted up, got to the line. Uh, she's probably the most athletic four in our league of being able to tough to guard, especially when her shot's going in. And, you know, as a coach, I know how much she cares about her team, and she doesn't often maybe have the point total, but she deserves a game like this. You can have multiple games like this if you want, but it's just fun that she gets a little credit because for the average fan, yeah, the blocks are cool, but I think she's the best offensive player in our league. That doesn't always come across as like super exciting or super, it's just like, oh, it's just Kate. She does what she does. We don't win without her. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome. I don't know. Um, it's really nice to see your first shot go in. I think that really helps me a lot. I think if you look back at tape, usually when my first shot goes in, I hit a couple more. So that's always nice to see. But my teammates always, I joke with my teammates about how I don't care about scoring. and I'm not going to score this game. And they're like, yeah, OK, whatever. Said the same thing before this game. So yeah. you know, <laughs> it's, it's like she said, not my First thought, but I know um, sometimes it's important for me to look for it. So I'm just glad I could help the team tonight with that. So do you, do you look at games where you maybe really contribute a lot in defense, rebounding, block shots, but, but you don't either don't score or don't score much at all and say, I, I really like to add that to, to my game too in that game? Not really. I mean, I know that I can make an impact whether I score or not. I just try to keep the team together, get rebounds, just do what I can. Like I said, if scoring is that, then that is, you know, a nice thing for that night. But I don't know. It's just not something that I look for all the time. I think Missouri State has a pretty talented group of forwards, but you seem to attack them early on. What, what was your mindset coming into the game? Just to be aggressive and, you know, last year, I sat and I probably played five minutes at home. It was a little personal. I like when you play more than five minutes. Was quickness a key, Dave? Because their inside players are are big girls. <laughs> Stating up. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. I like to think. You know, I'm pretty quick, and then, like, if I get the quicker defender, maybe can use a little power. I think that, that helped a little bit, too. But they do have um, number 14, Jay. She's a pretty good defender. Mm -hmm. So I just had to f figure out a way. She's got both power, speed, all of it. Oh, you. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Coach, one thing you would say about this front court um, and how it just stacks up in your league and against, you know, everyone Yeah, I mean, this <coughs> – these guys, I mean, tonight they were two of the best, and that's what I love. And I know D gets a lot of the, you know, uh, she's probably high on everyone's scouting report, and, and rightfully so. But you know, uh, she's a she does so many positive things. I mean, another double double, both of these guys. So your two, your four and five, you know, go for 26 and 23 with with 11 rebounds, and 10 rebounds, couple assists. You know, that's 
that's hard to guard, you know, and it was a game that our guards, th these two were playing so well, it took pressure off them. We didn't necessarily have to make outside shots, um, you know, so when they're playing like that, but, you know, we also know that there's going to be games where they, the focus will be on them and maybe it opens some things up for our guards, but that's what I like about this team. It's, we are not just one thing. And I think in the past we've been like that just because of whatever personnel. And, and that's why I think this team has a chance to be special because we can do it in a lot of different ways on given nights. And, you know, and I, I didn't know going into this that they were going to have, you know, 49 points. We had game plan for if we needed guards, we have sets. It's just, it's fun as a coach to just kind of see how the game is going to go and then just kind of, it's like chess, like trying to figure out, you know, what's working and, and how to capitalize. And these two are phenomenal. Kristen Shannon has earned her way in the, the starting lineup, but it, it's a different story to earn your way on the court <laughs> late in close games, but she's, does she continue to prove that she too? Correct. I mean, I don't know if you guys noticed with a minute to go, um, we ran a play for her, you know, as a freshman and she drives down and makes a really tough layup over there five. It was, it was big. I think Shan's biggest play of the game was the steal, the breakaway that shifted the whole momentum of the game. But, you know, Shan, she's earned everything. And, and that's the really neat thing. And, and I think sometimes, you know, uh, in our society and in, in, with young people, you know, that, that's a, sometimes a tough, tough thing to, to figure out. And, and college is different. And, and what I love about Shan is I knew she was a competitor. I knew she wanted to play more. She just kept chipping away, chipping away. And, you know, I think positive things happen to people like that. And, you know, we have a, but I want to say we have a locker room full of those young, young people, but it's just, it's awesome. And I, I don't think Shannon even knows how good she's going to be. Like, she's just not even close to scratching the surface. She's just out there. She's like Dee's little sister out there running around. You know, it's just, she's going to, I mean, she was huge today. And I'm just, I could not be more proud of, she's making the most of every opportunity. See the two games oh. in the uh, first state and, and Belmont. How did that cause maybe you and the players to kind of refocus for the rest of the season? I just, you just think it just goes to show, like, you know, the Valley is just a tough conference, like, any given night. Like, you just have to show up and play. And maybe we doesn't really weren't ready, ready to go both those games. And it's just like, you know, every night you have to give your all. You have to put your heart on the floor and just show, like, why you deserve to be in the, on the court, period. Yes, sir. Um, going off what you were saying about Shannon, I'm mm -hmm. going to You know, that's something that we have really, when I got here <laughs> seven years ago, I, people want to see a good product, and that's something that these young women have worked so hard in our staff to put a great product on the floor that our fans can get behind. And we've been, there, our fans have been outstanding this year. Before the game, I, there's a couple of, couple of players that were around uh, during the COVID year. I said, well, this might be, have a COVID feel to it. You know, we might have 25 fans. It's cold. It's miserable. I didn't want to be here. I mean, well, I did, but if I could be, a, if I could be on my couch right now, I would, you know. I will be in about 15 minutes. Never be on your couch watching No, I couldn't. No, but you know what I'm saying. Like a cold night, I was shocked the amount of fans. In, but that's just... They are so important to us, and I just I keep saying it like keep showing up for our women because they are so easy to get behind. They're such phenomenal young women, but that was the difference, you know, like because it was it was loud and you know and, and on a night that I was really worried and I was trying to prepare. I'm like, hey, it's nothing against us. It's just you know the circumstance. We get to play, uh, but they they showed up and especially on a night with a doubleheader. You know, it's a long day for, for I mean day, everyone. It's I know it's it's been a long day. So we're just so appreciative and hopefully we'll we'll see some more in two weeks when we're back. Any more questions? With that said, thank you all for being here. I know it's it's cold out there. <laughs>